morning at the break of dawn A couple good friends and a couple good songs on the radio We are back working on this guitar. I was off for about three weeks, had a baby. Took some time off from the guitar, time off from work. So this will be the rosette. I'm installing the wood fiber uh, that will make up the rosette and a strip of pearl, which is a, an abalone shell that will go around the center ring. There's three rings that have been uh, pre-routed. And here's a good look at the uh, three rings that were previously routed there. And I believe he used three separate strips to create the outermost ring. The nice thing here is you can afford to be a little bit sloppy as the top of the rosette will be covered up by the fingerboard as you can see. Most likely the innermost ring will be covered by the fretboard however. I'm going to keep it nice and clean. Make sure we measure uh, correctly. Bring both sides together and miter that uh, just perfectly. I use a chisel got a reflective edge allows you to actually see what angle you're going to be cutting and you can see the brute strength I'm using to cut right through the wood fibers as you can see the inner ring is complete now we're moving on to the center with the abalone strip you can see how many various strips actually go into this there's a dry fitting of it and that center piece of plastic you see is just there to hold the spot while the glue dries then you'll take that back out and put in the abalone and the dry fit worked great time to take that out put some glue down in there I vowed to stay away from plastic binding and uh, plastic rosettes now so this is a wood fiber we can use tight bond glue here And now it's crunch time literally as I work to get each of these strips squeezed into this channel. And take notice of the single strip sticking out above my finger. Uh, there is a reason for this. I'm actually trying to enable myself to quickly get the majority of the rings down into the groove then I'm going to come back around and fit the final strip and this is intricate work so you want to make sure you do have some tweezers on hand as you can see I'm bringing up my center spacer strip just enough to make room for the one piece of fiber still sticking out. And once my final piece of fiber strip is in, I can go back in and put my spacer. And now that the glue has somewhat set, I'm bringing my spacer up. Make sure this abalone is going to fit. I want to be very careful, very easy to crack. It's not the end of the world if you crack one. I think I did it on my last two, but uh, Jim, you'll be glad to know I didn't crack one of them on this one. I believe it was five strips and they're all in there. Pretty seamless job. Should look nice when we get it sanded down. Starting out with 120 grit on my random orbital sander. start out sanding with 120 grit, use that for the majority of it. As I get close to the top, I'm using 220. As you can see, it doesn't take very long at all to bring the rosette all the way down to the wood. And now that we have the top looking nice, we can flip it over and start the bracing for the next episode of Blue the Cast. We'll see you next time. pocket is torn from the years it's spent catching the car keys and the spare change. You can tell it's been worn from the tears in the stitching This old sweatshirt seen better days And 
March 96, I was traveling through this town and wanted a cheap souvenir. I would never have guessed from the name on the chest one day I'd end up living here. Twelve ninety nine bought me the chance to stay warm for the night. Now in my mind, it takes me straight back to that place and that time. It's amazing the things you can buy for twelve ninety nine. 